Hi, welcome to SPR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing week two in the NFL right now with Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com. Troy West, regular contributor to uh, SBR Videos. Last week, covered three NFL games. Clean sweep, 3-0. and Troy West, thanks for being back with us this week. Thanks a lot, Pete. We're continuing to roll over here at AllPlaysWin.com. Expecting no different here in week two. I really like these games that I'm throwing out the fans out there and watching on SPR videos. Really liking these games. Let's continue to roll, continue to win, Pete. Looking forward to it. Got it. It's a testament to how well you've done in these videos that if you only go two and one in the three games you're covering, it'll be a little bit of a people be like, what happened? Man, an off week, Troy West, only two and one. All right, Jacksonville at Oakland is the uh, third game we're going to discuss. Oakland is a six point home favorite. And of course, Oakland played Indianapolis a lot tighter than people were expecting in week one. The defense uh, played very well. Terrell Pryor did make some rookie mistakes, but also looked great at times uh, with his feet, being able to uh, create plays. Jacksonville, of course, completely awful. The offensive line, uh, you know, couldn't protect Gabbert. Gabbert was terrible. MJD had nothing. I'm looking at this. I'm leaning Oakland here, uh, even at minus six. One thing that does make me nervous, though, is that uh, Blaine Gabbert will not be the quarterback for this game. Uh, it will be uh, Chad Haney. And, you know, I'm thinking that even though he's the backup, that gives him a little boost. What do you think? I would agree with you, Pete. We talked about this earlier this week. I think Chad Henney could provide a boost, and that's what scares me a little bit. But I am going to roll with Oakland. They looked, for whatever reason, they looked extremely inspired. They could have easily rolled over down 14 nothing in Indianapolis, who a pretty good football team, a playoff team. And Oakland fought back, and they actually had plenty of opportunities to win that game on the road. So I think this could be nice for Oakland to come home. I think their fan base may actually be somewhat rejuvenated to see a team that's going to fight. And I think Oakland's going to come out, and I think they're going to beat the Jaguars by a couple touchdowns. I think Pryor looked okay. Defense looked all right against the Colts. I think at home against a, a bad, bad Jaguar team, Oakland takes this game. I think they're going to get it by two touchdowns, Beat. Yeah, I agree with you, Troy. I see, you know, I see Oakland's defense as having played uh, a little bit better than just okay. I thought that, uh, you know, uh, Indianapolis was was had retooled their offensive line to give Luck a lot of uh, protection, and uh, you know, Oakland was able to penetrate. You know, I see them with a team with a, with an inspired defense, and Pryor, you know, can only derive uh, you know a lot of uh, confidence from game one, and now they come home after a near miss win against the top team. Now they they play a cream puff. I think they get an easy win here. Uh, what do you think of Terrell Pryor? You think he's like a game changer or do you think he's uh, going to come back down to earth uh, pretty soon i'm not sure if he's a game changer but sure he looked determined yeah. before i think the biggest knock on prior was he was a mental head case mm -hmm. he looked pretty darn good in that football yeah. game like i said other than a few dumb mistakes he looked good and I'm, i was impressed with Oakland. i really was and i like you said Pete, i think they can take nothing but positive from that game and i don't know if there's a whole lot of wins on oakland's schedule but this is definitely one of them so Let's cross our fingers and let's hope it's more than six points. In our world, we got to win by more than six. So I do think Oakland wins this game like 28 to 13 is kind of my final prediction. I think they get it by two, two touchdowns. I agree with you, Troy. Huge value, hard to find in the NFL, but you can find a team that uh, should be more than a touchdown, favorite laying less than a touchdown. You got a good bet there. Thanks so much, Troy.